in the beginning of shrimad bhagavatam it is very clearly communicated that if you do not develop love for krishna na utpadayet yadi ratim rati rati means love or attraction na utpadayet utpadana means production generation na utpadana means negative meaning if you don't develop love for god in your human form of life pumsam pumsa means human kind human form of life then your whole life is shrama eva hi kevalam kevala shrama shrama means useless labor so much hard work but it is of no use it's of no use imagine farmer agriculture person in the fields in his uh, land he is doing so much work but finally if it does not produce the result let's say he is putting water is uh, tilling the land and is doing all those things but unfortunately if it doesn't produce any result then so much of waste of work it is like you don't put any seed but you are putting water putting without putting seed you are keep on putting fertilizers you are putting water it is called waste of time and energy because it is not going to give you any result so what is the result of everything we do whether you are a doctor or an engineer or a cook or a husband wife or some sportsman or some entertainment industry or whatever you may be by doing all those things by doing all your activity if you do not develop love for god if you don't develop attraction for god you have wasted your life that's what shrimad bhagavatam is saying you have simply wasted your life it is like you got some job in the some company let's say google or microsoft somewhere you got some job now after join the job if you are not getting any salary you are wasting your time you are just wasting your uh, time in that uh, so called whatever organization like that if people are not careful if they don't know okay what i am doing it should finally give me some result and what is that result the result is that love for god that has to come in bhagavad gita we see this in the beginning of bhagavad gita arjun told to krishna karpanya doshopahat swabhava pricchami tvam dharma sammudha cheta he said krishna i am completely confused about my dharma dharma is what here it is referred as dharma swanushthita pumsa anushthita anushthan in sanskrit anushthan means practice that is the meaning of anushthan following it doing it that's called anushthan not simply uh, you know okay uh, i should lift some weight my muscle will become stronger simply knowing is of no use you should actually go and do it that is called anushthan dharma anushthita means doing that dharma following the dharma so arjun told in the beginning of bhagavad gita i am very confused what dharma i should follow what do you mean by which dharma i should follow should he follow uh, sanatan dharma or islam dharma christian dharma he is not talking about political religions these are all political religions we are talking about the real religion the political religions are different the real religion is what arjun is speaking is saying that i don't know what to do should i fight should i not fight if i fight i have to kill all my family members if i don't fight then i am a kshatriya i am that's my dharma 
like this arjuna was very confused so whether you fight or don't fight that is not very important what is important is by fighting in the kurukshetra war did arjuna become lover of krishna or by not fighting will it make him lover of krishna whatever makes him the lover of god lover of krishna he should do it that is his dharma that is a dharma for everybody that's the whole basic principle in the in the bharat bhumi sanatan dharma how do you decide whether i should do something or not i should do bhagavad gita teaches in the when when throughout bhagavad gita krishna speaks at the end of bhagavad gita krishna says sarva dharman parityajyam mame kam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha ishyami ma shuchah krishna says that keep away all your so called dharmas in sanskrit the word dharma has got multiple meanings one of the meaning is duty occupational duty what is your duty so how do you decide what is your duty what is not your duty like many of you work or do wherever you do there is something called duty what is how do you know that is your duty so on what basis we decide what is our duty what is not our duty like in the hospital everybody's duty is decided keeping one thing in the mind can anybody tell what will be that one what is your duty what is doctor's duty what is nurse duty what is the cleaner's duty what is uh, xyz duty like this everybody's duty is decided based on what how do you know that uh, this should be their duty everybody's duty is simply decided keeping the patient's health in the mind means whatever you do finally it should result in what patient that patient should get recovered his health should be recovered his his uh, disease should be treated cured that's all that is the duty of everybody whether nurse duty doctor's duty cleaner duty whoever may be in the entire hospital everybody's duty comes from this one goal that means what is everybody's dharma in a hospital what is the dharma of everybody no matter whoever you may be you may be a surgeon you may be a doctor or you may be an ordinary nurse or you may be a cleaner everybody has only one duty what is that one duty how to help the patient to recover the health how to cure the disease and how to discharge that person that's all so the cleaner by doing the cleanliness help the patient the nurse by assisting the doctor will help the patient the doctor by deciding what medicine i have to give what operation i have to do he will help the pa- everybody has got only one dharma so when there is a confusion now the if anybody is confused in the hospital what is my duty then first question you should ask why am i here why is everybody in the hospital huh you are here to help the patient to recover from the disease that's all so now for that what should i do according to your qualification some job is given according to your requirement some job is given so like that in the human society we only have one goal like in the hospital there is only one goal like that in the human life in a manushya janma there is only one goal and what is that one goal how to develop bhakti or how to develop love for god how to develop attraction for god now imagine if the doctor is doing nurse is doing something the cleaner is doing something but the finally the patient is not getting treated they are all doing something but that is not helping then that means what it is not very effective it is not very effective isn't it simply going every day to hospital and coming back 
it's not called duty you understand when you go to hospital it should help the patients recover like that whatever we may be doing grihe thako vane thako sada hari bhule na ko whether you are a brahmachari or you are a family person sanyasi doesn't matter sada hari 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 lord hari ramakrishna hari krishna you should never forget in your life what do you mean by never forget you may say i never forget that is not the meaning of forget forget means you should develop so much love that krishna go never goes out of your life so that is why in bhagavad gita in the beginning arjuna said dharma sammodha cheta what is my dharma our dharma should lead us to prema what is the goal of dharma prema what is prema love of god how to love god and that should become visible in our life but what happens if we if we don't get this uh, training spiritual training instead of prema it becomes kama dharma will take you to kama if there is no proper spiritual training and what is kama kama is about my happiness my happiness my happiness my happiness now somebody may say what is wrong in thinking of my happiness then what is wrong in the rapist thinking he is also thinking of his happiness only why it is wrong then you may say oh you were the wrong guys because when he thinks of his happiness another person is getting into trouble so that means he should enjoy in such a way that other should not get into but actually you see is it really possible like this to eat your food you are cutting some plants and trees and you are eating you are putting plants and trees into trouble that is okay so vegetarians are eating some plants and fruits so they are troubling plants and trees so non veg non vegetarian people are troubling birds and animals and all that they are troubling so is that is not okay you see in our country if you torture any animal like especially like dog cat and all so a government can put case on you they can arrest you also animal cruelty like but the same government allows you to eat chicken mutton or other animal you can cut there you can uh, harass you can be cruel to that animal so this idea that my happiness without disturbing others is a very distorted idea what do you mean by without disturbing others kama means there will be disturbance to others there will be disturbance you may not be able to see it or you may be okay with it you are disturbing the nature you are disturbing animals you are disturbing some some other people so kama is not the solution lust is not the solution love is the solution when you become devotee when you become a bhakta when you become a lover of krishna then you will see the whole world as one family that's what sanatan dharma teaches vasudhaiva kutumbakam vasudha in sanskrit this earth is called vasudha eva kutumbakam kutumba means family vasudha eva kutumba means earth is one family how can we see the whole world as one family so that you feel everyone is connected how can we everybody be connected now so many countries are fighting russia ukraine fight is going on some syria and some other countries are fighting iran iraq fight is going on like this many many countries will be keep on fighting how can the whole world become one family that is because when you start loving god you see everybody is creation of the god everybody is created by god starting from even an ant so then it becomes very natural just like in your home if you love your mother if you love your father automatically you will also be very nice to remaining family members because you know that oh this brother sister they also belong to my parents so everybody is called one family and you have very nice relationship 
but you, with your neighbors and all you will fight because they are not connected to your parents anybody connected to your parents they become your relatives they become your family member so the most important is if you develop relationship with krishna if you develop love for krishna the whole world you can love without creating any problem for anybody so what bhagavad gita teaches is how in the beginning of bhagavad gita arjuna told krishna that i'm confused about my duties and at the end of bhagavad gita krishna told the all confusing duties you throw away then what should you do you should do how you should fight this war not because it is good bad right wrong correct incorrect this kind of a decision you cannot make people know when they make any decision they will ask this is it good decision is it bad decision is it right decision wrong decision like this now how do you decide good bad and all when you say good there it will be bad for somebody when you say it is uh, right somewhere else it will be wrong now how do you decide this beyond a point you cannot decide you cannot decide this so that is why what bhagavad gita teaches the 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 most important reference point to make any decision is whether god likes this or not that is the important decision that is a reference point so what is what did krishna say to arjun krishna didn't say krishna did not convince arjun how it is correct to fight you know arjun i'll give you some 10 reasons why fighting is correct he never that is not what there in bhagavad gita krishna told arjun you should fight for me for my love you should fight you see when arjun learned this that i should fight not because it is like in the beginning the first chapter if you read arjuna is giving five reasons why he should not fight and some of the reasons he is giving it is not correct he is saying it is not correct if you fight we will go to hell papam eva shrayet he says we will get papa if you fight it is wrong to do how can we kill our own family members for sake of some kingdom like this right wrong all this you know things are there but what did krishna teach to arjun you should fight not because it is right not because it is wrong not because anything you should simply fight because i want this war to happen and if you love me then you should do this sometimes you know uh, people ask you or oh, if you really like me if you really love me do this so you may not personally uh, you know be interested in it because you love that person and for that person sake you do it so like this when you come to this point of doing everything in your life because you love krishna like somebody asked to shila prabhupad prabhupad are we vegetarians you know in hari krishna devotees are they we are not vegetarians we don't say we are vegetarians or non vegetarians if krishna tells tomorrow that you should all eat non veg we will all eat non veg why because we we want to do what krishna wants us to do we want to do what krishna wants us to do we are we, we because that's what bhagavad gita bhagavatam is saying like arjun should he fight or not fight what should he do that's what at the end of bhagavad gita arjuna says nashtamo ha smritir labdha what arjuna says is karishye vachanam tava he is not saying that i am i am very convinced krishna with all your reasons now i understood it is correct to fight so i'll i'll fight he is not saying it is correct or uh, good and that's why i should fight he is simply saying i will fight because you want me to fight karishye vachananta whatever you say i will follow this is the end of bhagavad gita what is the end of bhagavad gita arjuna is saying i will do 
वॉट एवर यू से दिस इज द कंक्लूजन ऑफ भगवद गीता इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेक इज इट राइट इज इट रॉन्ग इज इट गुड इज इट बैड देन यू आर नॉट कम टू दिस पॉइंट ऑफ लविंग गॉड लाइक वन एग्जाम्पल इन श्रीमद भागवतम वी सी इज दैट Krishna and his friends they all went to forest early in the morning one day and uh, so all the friends came to Krishna and told Krishna we are feeling very hungry feeling very hungry so Krishna told very nearby in one of the village there are very big brahmanas are there they are doing some yagna so please go and ask them some food so all the friends go to that forest uh, in the village and ask those brahmanas please give us some food you know like this they have made so many varieties of uh, prasadam they got so angry what is this nonsense that all food is meant for yagna this is wrong we cannot do we cannot give it to you like this so then they drove them away then they came with a sad face and they told krishna they said they'll not give it is it is not correct to give that food which is kept for So now Krishna told you go to their wife, the wife of those brahmanas, and tell them Krishna Balram have come and they are very hungry. So now all the friends went to the wives of those brahmanas and said, uh, Mata Ji, uh, Krishna and Balram have come. They are feeling very hungry. So immediately they started packing all the food which they had cooked for Yagna and started giving to them. So when the husband saw that, they got very angry. What are you doing? This is this is not correct. you cannot do juta of all those things it is meant for puja why are you giving to krishna and balram like this so they said you cannot give and those wives they said not only they want to give the food they want to personally come to see krishna so then the brahmana told are you have some service you cannot leave the year you got some yagna service and all you can't leave and go so they said no 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 we have to go they said if you go you cannot come back to our house you'll be forever you to you'll be thrown out of the house they said uh, no problem so they left the house and they went and saw krishna so shrimad bhagavatam is giving this example that how love is above your normal duty prema is above dharma and that's what you see in bhagavad gita where arjuna is coming to that conclusion karishye vachanam tava i will simply do whatever you want me to do and what do we see this in mahabharat we see this in mahabharat krishna told arjun shoot arrow and kill this karna <clears throat> at that time karna was off the chariot he didn't have a driver and he was trying to repair his uh, chariot chakra of his ratha and all that so at that time arjuna did not ask even one question now uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, tv interpretation of this incident is there it says that you know krishna told arjun this is the only chance otherwise he will not be able to kill karna attack attack him like this that's not at all there in mahabharat like that that's all bogus so why did krishna tell arjun to do this to show the whole world how much arjun loves krishna karishye vachanam tava whatever you tell you and arjun is not some kayar he is not some covered person he, he is scared of something arjun he is a very great person how great he is he defeated lord shiva and got pashupatastra from him there was a fight between shiva and arjun in the forest during the vanavas so he was doing tapasya to get one powerful weapon called pashupatastra shiva is called pashupati so his weapon is called pashupatastra so there was a fight between shiva shiva wanted to test arjun so arjun fought and he convinced lord shiva that yes he is capable of getting it and there are many occasions where karna was already defeated in many in many places so it is not that karna could not be defeated there were two reasons why krishna did like that so when <clears throat> number one reason is when arjuna shot arrow and attacked karna karna told how can you do this this is not kshatriya dharma according to kshatriya dharma you cannot attack your enemy when he does not have proper uh, facilities he is not in the right condition he doesn't have a bow and arrow 
his uh, the string in the bow was broken at that time how can you attack if you're really a great man you should fight properly when he is equal so when karna asked this then krishna asked him my dear karna where was your kshatriya dharma when you attacked abhimanyu now you are speaking about kshatriya dharma you are asking about kshatriya dharma how can you attack when i am helpless when i am off the chariot when my bow is broken you you did not allow me to you know get my bow properly tied the string tied how can you do this is not appropriate like that so krishna asked the same question to karna you did the same thing when abhimanyu was also off the chariot he also did not have a driver his bow was also broken he was also helpless you did the same thing you attacked him where was your kshatriya dharma at that time this is karma reaction what you do will come back that is one second thing is krishna wanted to demonstrate how devotees are committed to god whatever god says they will do they don't argue how can you ask because arjuna is a very very famous person tomorrow people will speak bad about arjuna if arjun did like that arjuna is not waiting for this kind of some opportunity or oh, let me cheat and somehow pass in my exam somehow i should get first rank this is no he is a very talented person he is so talented that the whole world knows indra took him to swarga because he is so talented he did so many activities not that he was incapable he is very capable person such a capable person let's say you you know your subject very well you have studied very nicely and that time somebody comes and tells you why don't you take this chit why don't you copy and write you say why should i do this i already know uh, this question answer i know all the answer why should i keep this chit what will people think of me you you will ask like this no if you if you are a capable person you have studied very nice you will definitely ask this Arjuna was a very capable person very talented person entire mahabharata war because of him only they won such a person when if krishna tells him like this he will ask at least he will ask before doing krishna it's not good no people will think bad about me what they will think they will think oh arjuna is incapable he did not ask even single question karishe vachanam dharma this is love you can do this only if you have love otherwise you cannot do all these things you will start arguing you will you will come into this right wrong correct incorrect good bad discussion will start when there is love there is no discussion krishna says please do it arjuna will do it karishe vachanam tava that's why that is the end of bhagavad gita and this is the beginning of shrimad bhagavatam what is the beginning of shrimad bhagavatam dharma swanushtita pumsa if you really are following proper dharma it should bring you to this point what is that point that i should love god if you are, if you are not developing love then you have just wasted your life then how how to develop love every work will not help you to develop love you have to do some activities which will which are potential that can produce love in the heart like simply watering anywhere will not give you mango fruit where the mango seed is there there you water that will grow and give you fruit like that simply do anything anything and everything it will not give you love in in your heart for god you have to do those activities which are very potential to give love right like what are those activities especially two activities chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare when you chant this hare krishna mantra it is very powerful your heart will change you start experiencing attraction for god love for god second thing is you have to hear about krishna like what we are doing now sitting and we are discussing and hearing it is very powerful you go on hearing more and more and more it produces love in the heart like the food you eat it will give you takat strength simply you eat paper will it give you the strength you sit and eat some plastic and paper will it give you some any strength 
like that simply doing and anything and everything will not give you you know devotion to god by chanting the holy names like you have to take the right food proteins and vitamins and all that that will give you strength like that by chanting and hearing shravanam kirtanam smaranam vishnu pada sevanam archanam vandanam sakyam atmanivedanam when we do all those things chanting and hearing that will fill your heart with love that's why every day we should make sure that we spend some time chanting without missing and hearing about krishna by reading all those books by attending this classes you will feel that your love is increasing for krishna so with this will stop here grantara shrimad bhagavatam ki jagat guru shrila prabhupada ki nitai gor premanande